Hello YouTube, my name is Kanga and today I'm going to show you my favorite ways to make money during your first spring in Stardew Valley. We'll mostly be focusing on farming, foraging, and fishing, but there are lots of other ways like mining, digging through trash cans, grabbing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow on spring 17, and making mayo if you're on the Meadowlands farm. So if you're a Stardew veteran, make sure you leave a comment letting me know if you use the same methods I do or if you do something different. Day one, I recommend you go straight to buying seeds. You'll still have to wait four days for your parsnips to grow, so you'll have lots of time to explore your farm and meet the NPCs. Off the bat, I suggest getting one green bean, one cauliflower, a potato, and however many parsnips you feel comfortable spending on. You'll also get free mixed seeds just from clearing your farm. If you already have one of each crop needed for the community center, then you can sell all of those ones. If you plant and water all of those seeds day one, then the day you harvest the parsnips, you can sell them all to Pierre and use that money to buy potato. Planting and watering all the potatoes that same day means you still have a good amount of money to buy strawberries on the 13th at the egg festival. Strawberries are the best money per day crop in spring. And back to those community center seeds. All of them will be ready by the day of the egg festival. So if you complete the spring crop bundle, you'll be given speed grow fertilizer. Then planting those strawberries the day you get them with the speed grow means you'll have three harvests of 20 strawberries before the crops die in summer instead of just the two you'd get without speed grow. Bonus tip, water the ground before you leave the festival so you don't risk staying up too late like I did and mess up your fertilizer when it's too dark to see. But now you're asking, how do I make money in between all that crop growing so I can maximize on days I'm not harvesting and actually enjoy the game? The best way is fishing. On spring two, Willy will send you mail inviting you to meet him at his shop before 5 p.m. If you do so that day or any other day, he'll give you a fishing rod. In spring, the fish that sells for the most money besides the legend, because you can only catch them once, is a catfish at 200 gold base and up to 400 gold for an iridium level catch. But they can only be caught in the rain and it's a little difficult with the beginning level fishing skill. So your best bet on your first spring is to fish in the ocean. There are six different fish in the ocean you can catch, ranging from 30 gold to 100 gold at their base price. If you really want to take in extra cash, you can wait until you hit level five fishing and sell all your fish after you get the fisher profession to give you 25% more gold. But if you're like me, then you're probably sick of fishing when you're only halfway through spring. So what else can you do to earn money while you wait for your strawberries? Two things that go hand in hand, foraging and befriending Caroline. I actually recommend you do both these things throughout the entirety of spring, between your harvesting and fishing at the start, but let me explain why they go together. When you hit two hearts of friendship with Caroline, she will let you into her tea garden and you get a weird little cutscene about her tea travels. But then, when you wake up the next day, she will have sent you a recipe in the mail for tea saplings. You can plant these saplings and make tea, but better yet, a single sapling sells for 250 gold. If you've been foraging in the time leading up to this, you will have probably already gathered all the materials you need. Each sapling requires just two wild seeds, five wood, and five fiber. When you start your farm out, you'll get lots of wood and fiber just from clearing the land. Then there are two ways to make wild seed. First, you can combine the forageables from any specific season together. So horseradish, daffodil, leek, and dandelion in spring, which will produce 10 seeds, giving you five saplings. Or you can pop one horseradish into a seed maker for three wild seeds, a winter root for two wild seeds, and a common mushroom for one wild seed. But you need farming level nine for the seed maker recipe. That's more of a mid to late game option. You will also receive 30 spring seeds for completing the spring foraging bundle in a community center. You might want to use your first four forageables to do that, as it's more beneficial than the 10 you'd get otherwise. Those saplings can give you a big boost towards the 25k gold you need to earn to get a visit from Demetrius about setting up the old cave on your farm. If money making is your main goal, I recommend picking the mushrooms, as they come with a free dehydrator, and sticking five mushrooms or five fruits into it will give you 7.5 times their base self race. This makes your strawberries even more valuable. Those are my big tips for earning quickly in the beginning of the game. Remember, just play the game how you like it. It doesn't have to be a capitalism simulator. 